Looking ahead, bad news for drivers using I-25 in part of Colorado Springs this weekend. Work on I-25 in Fillmore will again shut down the area starting Friday night. Now that exit is just north of downtown. The on and off ramps to Fillmore Street will be closed. KRDO News Channel 13's Bart Bedsole is there live tonight. And Bart, this is not a popular construction project with people that have to go through that area. Not a very popular uh, project at all. The good news is this project is about 80% done, but one of the final phases, laying down new asphalt, will require the closing of Fillmore and those exits from 8 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday. CDOT calls it a diverging diamond interchange, the third of its kind in the state and the first of its kind in Colorado Springs. I don't like it. A little confusing. Quite confusing. At night, I feel like if you don't know it, it's more hazardous than it's doing good, honestly. It was fine the way it was. So far, CDOT has received only 12 formal complaints about the interchange and only one reported wreck, which the agency blames on a driver not paying attention, not the new traffic pattern. The department believes the new setup is safer, and here's why. Drivers exiting off I-25 no longer have to go through cross traffic. They just turn left or right into traffic. CDOT says this eliminates the dangers of cars being T-boned while traveling through the intersection. Along with paving the road this weekend, crews will also add new drainage and new striping. To avoid the Fillmore Bridge, eastbound drivers are advised to go back to Centennial, then north to Garden of the Gods, then east on Garden of the Gods to Mark Dabbling, then back south past the soccer fields and baseball fields to finally get back to Fillmore. It's about a 10 minute detour. That's inconvenient. I think you'll be avoiding uh, the Fillmore area this week? I will. I'll be in Atlanta, so it's not going to hurt me, but uh, I feel bad for the folks that are inconvenienced like that. That sounds like a tough detour. CDOT says rain or shine, the asphalt will be laid down, and it is confident the work will end on time before rush hour Monday morning. And we're told that the workers will be out here 24 hours a day this weekend. There will also be lots of signage up to warn drivers about the closure and help them find another way around. Bart Bedsole, KRDO, News Channel 13.